Hello again, I am Blunty, and uh, this is VR Chat. If you don't know about VR Chat yet, it's insanely popular and only getting rapidly more popular. I, I, I'll just by the way, yeah, my, my mouth flaps aren't in sync because I'm looking into a mirror in the game. There's a small glitch in in VR Chat, which means your your mouth flaps. If you have a if you have if you built an avatar with with movable mouth shapes and things like that, they don't, they're not they're not in sync in mirrors. When you're talking to other people, lovely in sync, looks awesome. So I know that's distracting, but ignore it for now. So I've done a lot of videos about this thing that I'm wearing. This is the Windows Mixed Reality headset, the Dell version in particular, but it doesn't really matter which which brand I'm wearing. They're all, as far as this game goes, uh, the same kind of deal. And one of the questions I get asked most often on any video I've done with about these Windows Mixed Reality headsets is, does it work in this game? Rather frustratingly, it is a question I get asked quite often on videos that have me using this headset in this exact game, but people are too stupid or too lazy to actually just watch a video before asking questions in the comments. But as you can see, for your very own self, I am wearing this headset right now. Uh, the, the tracking is working fine. I'm, I'm, you know, my, my hands are accurate enough to uh, do my favorite thing in the great pug here, and that is stack drinks. When I'm not role playing as a bartender, anyway, I stack drinks. Because why wouldn't you? Any game with physics in it, easy. Uh, as you can see, room tracking works perfectly fine as well. I'll walk manually over here and get it instead of using the little movement shortcut key there. Steady. Oh, let's try to get my hand out of the way of that one. Steady. Steady. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey. Yoink. So, in case you were wondering, do the Windows Mixed Reality headsets work in VR chat? Even though Steam does not list it as specifically compatible, the answer is yes. And that's true of a lot of it. Physics is wigging out on me. Someone's using the force. No. Ah. Oh. Aww. I'm gonna have a steak instead. Now I'm depressed. Oh, I'll drop my steak. Everything's going wrong. <laughs> I want my cake. No more steak. Oh, by the way, what the hell is with this cake? It's a tomato on top of this cake. Clearly some sort of cake. But there's lime and coke. Oh, there's something I'm missing. That's not, possibly not a cake. I'm told it's some sort of Swedish dish, but I can't remember the name of it. But it weaked me out first time I noticed it was a tomato on top of what I thought was a cake. Don't know what it is. Steak. There is, however, one thing that I will tell you about that doesn't quite work fine, and that's the nature of the hand tracking. Because of the way these headsets work, they've got these two little cameras here. Hopefully I'm still facing a web camera. Where are we? Where are we? Where are you? You're over here. Oh, you're over here now. I got all turned around. So these two little dots here on, on the headset, those are cameras. Big, huge, wide-angle cameras that track the lights and stuff on the controller, so you get perfect positional tracking, which is fantastic. However, if you're outside of the line of sight of those cameras, they don't track as well. They do track a little bit, so I can go behind my back like this and it tracks fine, it looks normal, no problems. Look at this. You can dance the Macarena. Oh, but how does the Macarena go again? Dun, 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 something, I don't know. That's a very long time ago. <laughs> but, it, you, because of the way the inverse kinematics work on these models, see how I'm only moving my hands, but the, the game sort of knows how to move my shoulders and my arms and stuff like that, so it looks kind of natural. If I squat down, which you can do, by the way, that's another question that got asked. You can squat down, you can lean all the way down here, and stretch up. Um, it, it does some math, basically, based on the bones in the model to, to try and make these things look human when they move around, even though you've only got three points of tracking, your head and your hands. Though, again, because of the way these track, if I put my hands by my side, they're out of the line of sight of the cameras. If I do that for too long, the Windows Mixed Reality system is not quite sure where they are anymore. It knows what angle they're at, so I can do this and sort of move my, my wrists around. But if I put my hands behind my back, it doesn't know they're behind my back. It knows what angle the things are at, but it doesn't know. And if I do this, they're outside the line of tracking. So I can do this and wave my hands around like this, but the, it doesn't know. They've been out of line of sight of the cameras for too long. It's not sure, so that, occasionally wigs out the arms on your character. Ah, there we go, I got it to happen. See how my, <laughs> one of my arms is inside my body. Oh, there it goes, it just got tracking back because it was just in the line of sight down below there. These cameras are angled down, by the way, so they see better down here than they do up here, which is a good thing because almost everything you do in VR is, is in front of you or down in front of you. It's kind of rare that you'll, you'll have your hands up here trying to do things if you're not actually looking at your hands. 
So there we go. So that's the only thing. Because of the uh, inside-out tracking that these use, as opposed to the Vive, which tracks the controls from outside using the satellites and, and all that good rigmarole you have to set up. Same thing with the Oculus, using cameras, outside tracking. Uh, that's the only caveat. So sometimes, just sometimes, your arms will wig out on you. The uh, way to stop that happening is just to always have your hands slightly in front of you, inside the line of sight of those cameras. So I will often, uh, even when my hands are at my side, I'll swing my arms up. If I'm standing in a spot talking to someone, I'll just swing my hands up every now and again, just to make sure that the controllers get tracking every sort of 10, 15 seconds or so. Also looks kind of natural, you know, it's, it's how I stand anyway. I sort of swing my arms around, I sort of lean from side to side, so my feet don't get sore from standing in one spot, you know, shifting my, my weight around. It's, it works, it works fine, but that's, that's the one and only thing that wigs out about this game is sometimes <laughs> the inverse kinematics are not quite sure what to do with your bones, because the tracking has lost the absolute positional tracking that it relies on. Other than that, no problems. Oh, oh there goes my hand again. See that? It was down my upside. It went Got a little bit of palsy. Is that an okay joke to make? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's slightly annoying. But if what you want is a very inexpensive headset so you can have a proper vr experience in this game uh you know these will absolutely do the trick you don't have to spend the big money on a on a htc vive or an oculus rift i mean the prices for these things these headsets at the moment on amazon uh last time i checked they were like 220 dollars ridiculously cheap regular price is like 299 something like that they've been dropping and dropping and dropping uh, competition is a wonderful thing so if you're wondering how to get into VR, in VR chat, in an inexpensive way, this is your solution. With one small cabat. Mmm, donut. Nom. 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 Okay, so just for more uh, proof of concept here, let's go for bowling, shall we? So... Let's get ourselves positioned. We'll use the room tracking to take those steps. And one, two, three, and got a ball. How did you know that was gonna happen when I tried to demo this? Of course, got a ball. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, get ourselves positioned here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, oh, oh, I don't know what I belted then, but I think it might've been my web camera. Here we go, here we go. Lucky sassy ball. That's that's what that's what that's what I needed here to stop gutter balling. My lucky sassy ball. And nope. Lucky like my lucky blue ball. Blue balls. Nope. Just get fucking. Surely this one. Go. Easy. 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 Come on. I know you can do it. Go. Go. <laughs> Please, I just want to hit one pin. That's all I want from life. Strikey! <laughs> Celebratory hot dog. And refreshing drink. <sighs> the menu system works perfectly fine. I can... Let's uh, do the die mode. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. So, hopefully that answers your question. Man, it's so distracting how mirrors don't don't sink the lips, the, the lip, lip flap things. Looks good though. You have no idea how long it took me to do. I did these lip flaps manually myself, trying to teach myself how to do custom avatars and things. You have no idea how fiddly it is to get a, a 2D Viz memes uh, uh, lip flappy thing working properly. It's, it's, it's infuriating. I'm my model's supposed to blink as well. For some reason, the blinking doesn't work. Oh, and also one of my, my hand emotes. I'm supposed to have a Pokeball there. When I do that one, I customized it, but there's no Pokeball. I've got the hand shape, like I'm holding the Pokeball, but the Pokeball doesn't show up, and it's very frustrating. <sighs> but that's got nothing to do with the headset or the point of this video. I just wanted to vent about it, in case you're wondering why some of my hand shapes are slightly different than what you might expect them to be. Bees out! Run! Oh, I'm going to do the Frisbee. Yoink. Bye, Frisbee. Hello, Frisbee. Hi, yoink! there steady and we'll put this one carefully on top easy easy 
And then we'll punch him. Punch him. Wee physics. Apple. Nummy. Wonder when these Christmas trees are going to disappear. By the way, because these 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 conical style trees they they don't they don't produce fruit. This is, I thought this was some Christmas thing, but Christmas is long gone. But still, we got these conical sort of fern tree things with with fruit on them for some reason. They pro they don't produce fruit. People who made this hub world those 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 trees produce cones. Nom.